Jimmy, exciting changes uh, coming uh, coming here at Pine Lakes. Uh, if you could just give us a quick overview on what visitors can expect when they come visit the new Pine Lakes. Uh, well, they should expect the, obviously the first thing they're going to notice is the bunker work we've done out here. Um, uh, they, they mostly shrunk in size, but I feel like they've gotten a lot more animated. Uh, before they used to be kind of big and cavernous and big high flash faces in the bunkers that we get a lot of plug balls, um, which is unfortunate. Um, but now we've got grass faces all the way down to a kind of a more mellow um, shaping in the bunker. Uh, it's new bunker sand, which is pretty and white. It's kind of got that peach white color, which I think everyone's really going to appreciate. And then um, uh, the greens themselves, um, they're going to be able to get some uh, faster green speeds with this surface, the Sunday Ultra Dwarf Bermuda. Uh, which I think is really um, what this place has always been lacking in terms of uh, it's always never had that fire that some of these other courses have gotten. You get greens like these that are so undulating and so much uh, tearing. Uh, if you can get them up there in that 11, 11 and a half range, uh, it's a challenge for the best of the best for sure. If you could name some uh, off the top of your head some holes in particular that really stand out to you in terms of the biggest difference in the, bu in the bunker reconfiguration, which of those holes would they be? Well, the first one for me would be number five. Number five was always a very large bunker. It still is very large, but um, they put a nice little feature right towards the middle of it, kind of a kind of a hand, so to speak, a couple little fingers, uh, which is two things. It's for that shot that does come up short. It's no longer plugging into a lip and buried that you now have to walk 30 yards through a bunker. Uh, now you can get into the bunker and exit from right there. You don't have to go back and rake everything. So I think that's a big plus. Um, another one would be number 14. We actually removed a bunker from the right side. Uh, the problem with that bunker is it always had a lot of uh, material from a tree, overhanging tree. Uh, so it was always kind of full of stuff. Uh, so we got rid of that bunker, uh, reshaped it, and resodded it with uh, zoysia grass. And um, I think that's, it's definitely a catcher's mitt because it's on the right side of a hole. Nine out of ten golfers miss everything to the right. So now it's going to be a, a little bit easier up and down. And uh, we've actually did, we did take a limb off that tree. So we'll be able to get some sunlight in there and keep that grass growing. But that's a big one. And uh, we also put a little pot bunker there that wasn't there before. And we, we still haven't named that bunker yet, but it's going to have a creative name, I'm sure, by opening day. I'm a longtime visitor of Pine Lakes, and I'm coming here for the first time since the renovation. The first words out of my mouth after I walk off 18 were, man, Pine Lakes is really... Man, Pine Lakes has really got its groove back. Uh, you know, it's still, it's still got the, the plaid and the flare and the, the chowder and the mimosas that everyone remembers. Um, but it's, uh, I feel like it's, we eliminated the two biggest knocks that we had on the course and that was the greens and the bunkers and now we've got them both. So there is no more, um, there's no more you can do out here to make this course any better. It's perfect right now.